Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with a tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration of how to remove the door panel on a Ford Ranger. While this is a 1998 truck, this applies to the years 1995 and up as they use a similar style door panel with small changes on the trim pieces. This procedure also applies to the same generation of Mazda B-Series trucks. After opening up the door, I like to flip the door latch to shut off the interior light so it doesn't drain the battery. You can disconnect the battery, but it isn't needed. Behind the door pole will be two Phillips screws which need to be removed. Next is removing one Phillips screw at the bottom corner of the door panel. This screw was stuck inside the door panel so it could be unscrewed from the door but not completely removed from the panel. Next is removing the window crank if you have manual windows. Slip your fingers behind the cover and pop it off. Then rotate it over to expose the screw in behind. This is a T20 Torx screw. Then pull the window crank off a spline along with a plastic washer. Using a nylon trim tool, pop off the black plastic trim on the door panel which will expose more screws in behind. Separate the tabs on the power mirror switch to help assist in the disconnection and remove. Here is a quick view in behind that panel to see where the clip locations are. Remove the Phillips screw that was in behind that panel. Considering the screw in the bottom corner is still in the panel, this panel does have some give so pull it out while pulling up the panel so it doesn't scratch the paint in behind. It does help to push the lock down. The panel needs to be pulled up about a couple inches until it's fully disconnected. And now to give you a view in behind the panel so you can see these clip locations. This panel is a bit different than compared to most vehicles as it doesn't feature replaceable snap clips so there's less chance of breaking those clips and it basically slides into place. Now for installation in the reverse of removal. I found it's easier to have the window down this time and pull the lock up. You'll need to assist the lock pull into place from the window side. Watch for the screw that's still stuck in place if you have that problem. Push the panel against the door and then push it down making sure all the tabs are locked into place. Install the screw in the corner. Next install the screw behind the black trim panel. Connect the power mirror switch. Snap the black trim into place. Install the two screws behind the door handle pole. Roll up the window, make sure the plastic ring is in place. Then align the window crank to the passenger side and install the screw. Snap the cover back into place. Release the door latch before closing the door and you're officially done. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to follow my social media pages such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep up to date with my latest projects. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.